What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back here with another NHL 22 Be a Pro episode, and here we are for our Stanley Cup debut first round against the Columbus Blue Jackets. We finished third in the Metropolitan Division. Blue Jackets obviously finished second, so that is who we'll be taking on in the first round of the playoffs. I'm not, I wasn't sure how to do this in terms of uh, simming and playing, what to sim, what to play, because I do want to make it go by quick so that we can get further in the career mode, but I wanted it to, I didn't want it to be too quick, and I wanted to enjoy the experience and enjoy uh, being able to play a little bit. So I think for right now, we'll just do the same sim one, play one, sim one, play one, and take it from there. Um, if it takes too long, then of course we could always adjust it uh, later in the playoffs, or even next year, next season. But here is the playoff tree. We got Colorado versus Winnipeg, Edmonton versus Chicago, Anaheim versus San Jose, Dallas versus Vegas, us versus Columbus, Pittsburgh, Washington, Boston, Montreal, and Toronto, Tampa Bay. Looks like Montreal squeezed into the playoffs in year one. I'm sure that makes our boy FaZe happy, but we may have to take them down. But we're gonna skip uh, we're gonna sim through this game and then jump into the next one as usual. You guys know the drill. First period, nothing. Second period. 3 nothing. We get two goals. Panarin adds one on Merce Lincoln's. Huge line or huge period for that line. And third period, four to two. Adam Fox, followed by Bjorkstrand and Nyquist, but the game was already over at that point. Four two win in game one. Which also means that we take a game away. Or yeah, away from home. Huge win for us. Because these first two games are in Columbus. Gonna jump into this. We'll play this next game and just see where it takes us, guys. First period, nothing. Second period, 2-2. Two, two. Both second. Marcus Johansson with a pair, followed by Brenstrom, or ben, Bemstrom and Line. Both second periods have been absolutely huge so far in this series. So let's see if we can make the third period an even bigger one as we're all tied up. Three, all right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Also, my setup now for my Xbox is extremely different than it was at my house. So I'm so much farther away from the TV than I was before. And it's so weird trying to adjust to playing like this. It feels so different. Coach calling us over about three seconds into the period. What the hell could he have to say to us that he couldn't have told us in the locker room? Oh, what the heck? What a terrible turnover from Ms. Lincolns. I don't know what that was. So there we go. I guess that's a goal for us. We get a point. Better for the eyes. Yeah, it's definitely better for the eyes, but it's super weird. Like, at my house, um, I had it on my desk. So, like, it was literally, like, three feet away from my eyes. And it was also at, like head at like perfect eye level for when I was sitting in my chair but now it's like far away and it's too and it's really high how big was it how big was what the goal TV oh it's the same TV still um it's the same TV. I think it's 40 inch. I think it's a 40 inch TV. Ugh. But it's just farther away, and now it's up about three feet higher. Yeah, bro. It was close as fuck. It was hella nice. I could see everything. Now I can't see shit from how far away I'm sitting. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus, that's a gift from the gods for, uh, Georgiev. Yeah, it was close, but I liked it. Dump that in. We're just going to get off. We've been out here forever. <laughs> Georgiev is, uh... Georgiev's playing because Shesterkin's hurt. I don't remember which episode he got hurt in. He might have honestly gotten hurt in the episode that is going to go up. In about half hour, 45 minutes, um, I think I have an episode scheduled on YouTube to go up at 11 o'clock right now. Um, he might have got he might have uh, gotten hurt in that one. Fucking Christ, Banajet! What the hell is that? Yeah, Georgiev's been playing for us for the last couple of weeks of the season here. Nice defense, Panarin. See if we can get a huge hit here. All right, it was a very t tiny hit, but oh my god, Artemi Panarin has never played defense in his goddamn life, man. And that's gonna tie this one up, guys. Three three here, about four minutes in. Oh, it looks like we might have a goal here, and less than. Oh wait, they scored again. Jesus Christ. A minute later, they get another one. So two goals in a matter of 60 seconds for the Blue Jackets, and they are now leading. Let's see if we have anything to say about that. We tried, but unfortunately, nothing doing there. Ms. Lincoln's made a uh, nice save on that one. All right, we somehow just absolutely fan on the shot for no reason at all, but... Oh my gosh, you take that shot any sooner, it's probably a goal. We absolutely had Merzlinkin screen to the max. He couldn't see anything there. They didn't get the shot off when I wanted to, it was a little bit late. I wanted to get that off earlier, but my guy stopped moving his feet. Nothing good ever happens when you stop moving your feet in sports. That a boy Panarin. Oh. Nothing doing there. Nice forecheck, though. Especially from Artemi. Played a good role in that one. Oh. We poked, oh my gosh, they just ate like six poke checks and still kept the puck. Oh gosh, anybody but Patrick Lina here. Jesus, man. Oh no, Patrick Lina open in the slot. Big save from Georgiev. We need an out here. We're going to hope that they get it out and we're just going to change real quick. We're playing online shootouts with Quick. Quick, yeah. Yeah, quick's like, what? Well, quick, let's quick, like 35 now, 34 at least. Oh God. Um. Damn. Yeah, quick used to be good. Well, I mean, quick's still not bad, but quick is definitely far away from his prime at this point. Did you do an online shootout for fun, or was it for, like, your YouTube or something? What a pass. I saved them all, then. Excellent defense there on Gus Nyquist, but nobody helps us out. Truba turns it over, but luckily it goes right to our teammate. 
and Forbert. Throw a nice little screen there. See if we can get around him here. Bandage it. Oh, nothing doing there. Save them all on his fast. Let them all in. <laughs> Sounds about right. Just for fun. That's what's up. Yeah, it's cool. I've never been. I never really got into online shootouts very much. Um, the last time I really got into online was like probably like NHL 20. I did online versus. I went like nine and zero through my first nine games or something, and then I lost one, and so I just never played it again for some reason. Well, not because I lost one, but it just happened that I uh, lost one, and then just stopped playing after that. We're on a power play now. Come on, beat him, beat him, beat him. Fake the pass. And he did not bite at all. Damn. That was a huge chance with seven left to tie it on the power play. I absolutely needed that one, guys. But, unfortunately, it wasn't able to go. Still out there, though. Still about a minute and a half of play or playoff time. Power play time. All right. That was the absolute most childish shot I've ever seen. We level up. Uh, I don't even see. Remember, that might have been Gavrikov, actually. See if we can get Warinsky here. Eh, nothing down there. Pretty small hit, but a hit's a hit. Over a seven-game series, those light up. Out here with Zabanejad. Are we out here with power play one? And eh, that's never going to go in, man. Start leaning away from the net like that. We don't have a strong enough shot. We need to have a better follow-through. Nonetheless... Faze, you excited for the NHL season to start soon? Preseason is just around the corner. I'm excited. Not as a, not as a Flyers fan, just as a hockey fan, though. <clears throat> Damn. Why was that pass to me? Yes, sir. I thought I figured you would be. There we go. Nice little turnover. Panarin. Panarin. Damn. I don't know why Panarin just skated as far away from the net as he possibly could. And we poke it from Texier, but Texier still keeps it because poke checks in this game are pretty broken. There we go. Might be able to make a run here. Just going to pass it off to Lindgren. That was supposed to be at his band. Boy, and we just got rocked. Come on, guys. We need to get pucks on net here. I'm absolutely screening him. And he turns it over. It's quite simply one of the easiest turnovers ever. ever. Five minutes left. We absolutely need a goal here. We're going to take another rush up the ice just because all right, we are absolutely by ourselves. Try to get it to Lingren, but our guy is just a child since he's in his rookie here. If you go live, um, I can try to for a little bit. Um, it won't be long though. I might only it might be for like 10, 15 minutes. But if you want to go live, yeah, I can. Oh God damn, I can. Uh, I can try and hop on. I can try and watch you for a little bit. Oh my god. <sighs> Mika's bandage that absolutely gets caught out and has no help for us on defense. Him and Forver absolutely playing atrocious as always. Bandage has not been good this year at all. Forbert is just not a good defenseman in general. Oh man, that's brutal. Looks like game two is going to be an L. But at least we took one going back to New York, so can't be too frustrated. But in a game where we had a lead in the third period, we think that we're gonna we would have to uh, we should think that 
those are uh, those are our games to win. I do be a pro. Yeah, it's fine, man. I could definitely hop around, for, hop a, uh, stop by for a quick be a pro. That's 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 fine. Forbert absolutely is walking into the slot and just passes up an open shot, but it is what it is. Probably will be our last shift of the game here. Actually, depending how quickly we get taken off, then uh, it'll probably determine it. And Truba with a terrible turnover as usual, too. Hey, uh, and he passes it to us. I wasn't ready for that pass. I was not expecting that pass to be to me. Unfortunate icing when uh, we were supposed to be changing, but it is what it is. Just shovel that in. Get a change. Hopefully get one more. Hopefully we get a single here and then get out there for another 40 seconds. If we can have somebody score in the next minute, and then we get out there. Nope. So. Receives the pass. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. New York goalie is on the bench. The extra attacker has jumped into the play. The Rangers have it against the wall. Quick pass to Foni. Columbus on the attack. Empty goddamn net, and there is not a single soul on the ice playing defense. Holy shit, man. That is ridiculous, dude. There was nobody playing defense there. Unbelievable. Holy cow, man. That's ridiculous. Just terrible team play there. Unbelievable, dude. It is what it is, but that's going to chalk this game up as an L. Six three loss in game two, but we did take one. So we'll count that as a win for us. As the saying always goes, if you're able to take one, one of the away games, all you got to do is take care of business at home, and you're set in stone. Just kidding. I made that up. That sounded really weird, but general rule of thumb is your goal is to just take one of uh, one of the two away games, and you're usually on the front foot going back home. So we'll consider ourselves still on the front foot, but that was definitely a big win for uh, Columbus as we had a 3-2 lead in that period, and it ended up being that we lose Six to three. So, about as bad as it gets. But we'll sim the next one and then jump into game four. Let me know if you guys like the uh, this same approach or if you'd like me to do it differently, like play game one, sim two and three, play four, or sim the first four. Four, three or four and then just see where it is and then play every other from there or something i don't know you guys let me know anybody who sees this can surely let me know what you guys want it to be like um i'm down for whatever but sim this game first period three nothing huge 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 for period to start our home game a goal from all three lines or our three top three lines second period Four to one, Vitaly crafts off, and we have a goal from every line in this period. Fourth, fourth period, four one, third period, and that's going to be a win in game three. So we are up two one on the series, and we have a chance to take a commanding three to one lead here in game four at home. We're going to have to get it done here. Oh, we always bust and bust in first period. Filipino, second period. One to one, Patrick Line. Oops, I accidentally started the I accidentally hit the play button instead of the start button. So we're gonna jump into this one about thirty seconds into the period. But that's fine. Oh, 
Oops, I should probably hit start game. Alright, here we go. Home ice. First playoff game on home ice. Let's see if we can have a big one here. Well, first playoff game that we're actually playing. This is obviously the second home game for us. Let's see if we can actually get some defense here. If not... Wait, is that Shesterkin in that? Is Shesterkin back? I didn't even notice. Fuck, we turn it over. Nathan Gerby. Tell me that's Nathan Gerby, bro. Oh, yes. We got big Igor back in net for the playoffs. Absolutely huge. He has been out for quite a while. It's been at least a good few weeks that he's missed. Yes, sir. Always remember, you got to hit start. If you don't hit start, you're never going to play. Guys. Oh, Jesus. I thought my game... Guys, my game glitched. Guys. Hello. Guys. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. There's nothing I do. As soon as I go to... As soon as I pause it, it's either resume or quit. And as soon as I resume, it goes back to that thing. Freaking a minute into the game. Or into the period. Huh. All right. Um. All right. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna quit this game and we'll play the next one. All right. We'll sim the rest of this game and just play the next one. Hopefully, the next one will not be broken like that. But we're just gonna sim this one, try and jump in, and see where we end up. I apologize for that, guys. First period, Truba. Second period, Sammy Blay, Eric Brent. Eric Bemstrom and Sammy Blake, or and Kepo Kako, I think that was. But we'll try and jump into this one. Hopefully the same thing doesn't happen. If the same thing happens, then I don't know. Maybe we'll just cut a, cut the video there. But yeah. Back everyone, he's Ray. I'm James. Third period action, ready to go. Columbus is still on the power play as play resumes here at the start of this period. All right, guys, so a 3-1 lead for us here. Jumping out two and a half minutes into the period because we were on the penalty kill. You're right, Fizz, that was absolutely bogus. Take an L because the game glitched out on us. If that doesn't tell you that EA is scripted, then I don't know what will, man. I really don't. Definitely not bus, and you are, in fact, right, my man. Whatever happens in this game, we will uh, we'll probably end the video there. Oh, my God. Yep. Panarin passes it to me. I tell him to shoot. My guy doesn't react and fucking shoots it 10 seconds later when we get the puck, man. This is just the stupid stuff in this game. Holy cow. It's just never ending with this thing. We're going to see if we can take, make a run at Gavrikov here. And, of course, can Eric Robinson or whoever the hell that was just played lockdown defense on us. exactly right man bussin radical and you're following us it's the three keys to life man oh my gosh i can't believe he saw that around us we were in the grill of elvis merlinkin mars lincoln but he's able to see around us and grab that one three one lead here we should uh definitely be able to see this one out if not then uh maybe we'll request a trade <laughs> Oh, if that was, if that was, uh, if that got past Gavrikov, I think that might have been in because we were absolutely screening Elvis Merlinkins. Slide over here, give some port to Zibanejad, and he doesn't take it. Me and Fox had support for Zibanejad, but he looks us both off. We're just going to get off here. Nice little turnover there, but of course Panarin just dumps it in for them, and Zbanejad gets forward played. Oh my god. Just give me the puck. You guys suck. Yep. Come on. Skate. 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 Oh yeah, there we go. Let them hear it. Let them hear it. Absolutely bodied the defenseman coming down the wing, and we just 
gave that. We took that for ourselves, man. Third goal of the playoffs. Huge 4-1 lead for us. Let's take a quick replay. Ms. Lincoln stood no chance as we just absolute body 24 there. I don't know who that is. Maybe Foodie, but I think Foodie's a 4 Hopefully now we should easily see this one out. 4-1 with, uh, I don't know how much time, probably like 15 minutes. 14.49 left in the period. Oh my god, and Patrick Line gets it back eight seconds later off a goddamn softy. An absolute softy from Igor Shesterkin. He's clearly still got some of that IR rust on him. Oh man, that was that was brutal, dude. Line skating away from the net on his opposite hand, essentially. And he beats Shesterkin on a soft, soft wrister. That should be saved every day of the week. And Panarin gets absolutely torched, giving them a three on two. If they score here, I'm going to lose my mind. Park ourselves in front and... They turn it over, so we're just going to get off here. Bro, Panarin is... Panarin's defense has sucked extreme. Now Tyler Wall is the backup. Does that mean Georgiev's hurt? If Tyler Wall is the backup? Or wait, no. Wait, what? I'm so confused. I guess that means Georgiev's hurt if Tyler Wall is the backup, because he was our third string. And get a poke, gets a stick on it. Just trying to create a goal there. Get the puck to the net. Easiest way to get it done. Okay. Zach Wierenski somehow ends up with that puck on his stick. Turnover from us. Wait, how is Georgiev in net? Was Shesterkin not in net? I'm so lost. I swore Shesterkin was in net for us. Did he get hurt again? There's no way he got hurt again, right? long episode it won't be this long i'll uh i'll edit it a little bit and cut um cut it down i'll uh a tad so it won't be as long as it appears that it's being oh my god two shots blocked yeah i don't know why uh i don't know why you gives a net unless shesterkin got hurt again last game which would mean he was healthy for one game i think maybe we'll check that at the very end Edit the glitch game out. Yeah, I probably will. Video won't be that long. It'll probably be... It'll be normal length, if not maybe a minute or two or uh, within that. It'll probably be about 33, 34 minutes, if I had to guess. But we'll see how long the rest of this game takes. Get it back, cycle, Pareko gets hit. Panarin, cycle it. Now we're turning it over, that works too. Send Adam Bockfist on a one on one. On Mike freaking Riley. Yeah, I'll edit some of it out. I'm not sure what I'll edit out. Um, but stuff will get edited out, for, edited out for sure. But less than 10 minutes left, it is still 4 to 2. Definitely looking to drive this one home. I mean, Panarin went to sacrifice the body, but he still did not get a piece of it. There we go. Pareko, just give it to us. Okay, how do we turn the puck over? Nobody did anything to us. Separate the body from puck. That's all you can ask for. Uh, I didn't see anything I liked there. So, oh, God, dude. That was supposed to be a straight pass back to the point. Why was that so goddamn difficult? Holy shit, dude. We're a rookie, not stupid. Georgiev, let me out. Oh, 
Oh, what a goal from Mika Zibanejad to hopefully put this game on ice. Three goal lead here with under uh, eight remaining. About seven and a half left, I think it was. Somehow that was onside, so I have no idea how. We are getting absolutely interfered with right now. There we go. Second of the day. Let's hear it. Let me hear it, Columbus. Let's go. Let's go. Huge goal. And that will surely put this game on ice. We're a rookie, not stupid. Yeah, you can quote that, man. For sure. You got it. There we go. Just going to get off here. Been out there for 50 seconds. We're not tired, but we'll just get it done. Should be smooth sailing. We are definitely bussing, man. This game has not been a close one. Where's Lincolns has been taken out for the likes of Jonas Corpusalo. All right, my guy skated backwards for some reason, and which means we iced the puck. I say from Georgiev, but it's terrible defensive play. Oh, huge turnover, huge takeaway for us there. See if we can take a run at Zach Wierenski here. He somehow board plays us there. That's just freaking terrible. I was literally halfway past him, and we somehow get board played. Another thing that's broken in this game. So we're just going to throw our body around. Huge hit there. Get us the puck, we'll probably just dump it in. Yep. Or not, we're just going to get bodied by Wernski as he skates to the bench. That makes sense. Either way, it's fine. Boston hit? I thought so. Absolutely leveled uh, Gus Nyquist. Two minutes left. This will probably be our last shift of the game, which should be a win. That sees us go up 3-2 in game six. Game six, heading back to New York. We have taken two of three games in uh, in Columbus, I think. Another huge hit on Gavrikov. Spanish at skate, skate. Or not. And Spanish at screens us. Let's get, let's Cam Atkinson absolutely walk by us. We're just going to get off here again. No point. It's staying out. We hit like 50 seconds, so that's good. The hits are absolutely raining in at the end of this period. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. 6-2 win in Game 5 of the first round of the 22 Stanley Cup playoffs. Absolutely huge. We have a chance heading back to New York to take this, game, to take this series and put ourselves in the second round. Unbelievable, man. Super excited for it, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. I really appreciate it. I apologize for the technical difficulties in the last game. Um, but yeah, I apologize. Very. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But other than that,
Let's see if we have any conversations pop up. If not, I'll end it there. Nope, looks like there's nothing. So that's where I'm going to end it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next episode. See if we can close this series out and send ourselves to the second round. But until then, take care of yourselves and peace out.